Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Brandon Rich. We are doing 100% on the ultraviolence difficulty of the Ultimate Doom. This is Episode 3, Map 9, Warns. Let's get to it. Alright, so this is going to look familiar and that's because it, it looks exactly like the first map in Episode 3. You'll notice that there are the imps as well. We're actually just going to kill them with a the shotgun because we have the ammo for it. Now we'll open this door and kill these two guys immediately as well. It's important to take care of the enemies as you go because if you leave them behind, they'll cause a great deal of pain later. There we go. Don't go right yet, go left. Take this path and kill those same imps that we did last time. Now we can go this path. Go ahead and just kill these guys now. It's amazing how far we've come since episode, or <laughs> since map one. Okay. We don't have the berserk pack, so we can't punch these guys out. You know, you know what you can do actually? Use the chainsaw. Ooh, he almost bit us. There we go. Super fun to do. Now pull out your rockets for this part. It's okay to use the rockets because we're about to get a whole bunch of rockets in a second. <laughs> get ready for this. When you step on this, it's actually not the end of the map. There's actually this guy right here. We're actually going to pull the rocket out immediately and just go to town on this one. Alright guys, I'm going to talk over this audio to replace the audio from earlier because it got interrupted, but that's no concern. As I'm killing this cyber demon, I guess I'll just talk to you guys a little bit more about why I like Doom so much, and part partially because of the way the demons die. I just like the way their bodies fall, and also their death animations are really cool, and the fact that the bodies stay there the whole time afterwards, so that after you massively destroy everything, you can see the carnage afterwards. And I, I really like that a lot. Okay, took care of him. Now I like to save these things just in case for later. There we go, now we can grab all the remaining items out here. Alright, perfect. Oh, almost missed a box. Now when you go back through here, there will be two Kakademons waiting for you, so just go ahead and take care of them with the shotgun. Okay guys, I'm going to record audio over this part as well because I also had a few complications during this time that I was killing the Kakademons. They are, once again, one of my favorite enemies in the game. A couple other favorite enemies I have are, well, the Barons of Hell and the Hell Knights, which you'll see in Doom 2. A lot of my favorites are in Doom 2. And then when you go here, there will be a Baron of Hell. Just go ahead and pull out your Plasma Auto Rifle and take care of him. Along with all of these Lost Souls over here. Oh shoot. Yeah, sometimes Picking up that Berserk pack will make you switch to your hand, and that's not really useful in a situation like this. Okay. Now when we go into here, just uh, let the enemies come to you. Flip this switch, run down the middle. Oh, grab the invulnerability, that's what you want to do. And then just punch these guys out. There's a whole lot of them. Now there's a part later in the map that you're going to question as to why I didn't save the invulnerability for it. And that's because the invulnerability wears out almost completely by the time you get there, so it's basically pointless. Okay, sweet. Now go ahead and pull out your shotgun for this part. <clears throat> Three more cacodemons. I just used the shotgun on these guys. You're gonna to want to save your plasma uh, rifle ammo for later. There we go. All right, guys. And then flipping. Well, there's actually an alcove that opened up over here. Now, when you go into it, you're gonna to be teleported to this place right here. Pull out your. <laughs> 
your BFG, shoot the one on the right, shoot another bullet, and get the heck out of there. Because there's mass chaos everywhere in there. And don't go step in, don't step in there yet because you'll just teleport back into that hell. Oh, actually, no, you won't. Okay, sweet. Grab this red key, run away. And it's okay that we use all that ammo because we're not dead. Now this is where the rockets come in handy. Just take care of the rest of these demons with the rockets. Look at all these shotguns. Oh, shoot, okay. Now I'm just going to pick these guys off with the shotguns because there is lots of shotgun ammo now. With all the shotgunners in the room, it can be a nasty, deadly trap, being surrounded on all sides like that. Now when you grab this, step back, because there are three more barons of hell. Just insane. You know what guys, you know what you could do actually to make this room a lot easier than I made it? That roller ability with all those specters. Instead of getting the invulnerability there, you could just kill all the specters in a safe distance. And then you could grab the invulnerability and then run straight into this room with the invulnerability. Grab the blue key. Or not the blue key, but grab that ammo. And the red key. And then just fight everything all at once with the BFG. That actually sounds like a lot easier. After what felt like an eternity, we finally killed that last one. Now we can grab this. Grab all the shotgun ammo remaining. And finish the map by opening this red door. That's Warren's, guys. One of my favorite maps in Doom, actually. It's just a super intense and crazy map. If you use your invulnerabilities at the right time, you can you can slay a lot of demons. If you're really good at fighting the cyber demon like I was earlier, you could even save that invulnerability, grab it for those specters, and then grab the specters invulnerability for the room that I did at the last part there. But yeah, just insane, super easy to die. There's a freaking cyber demon. The, the boss of episode two is just now an enemy in a level. So anyways, Warren's also is like, I don't know, I, I think the secret maps in Doom are really great. Like episode four, you'll see in the next episode. I don't like that secret map, but episodes one, two, and three all have amazing secret maps. And I think especially episode two and episode three have secret maps that are worth unlocking. So yeah, that's Warren's guys. And I'll see you in the next video and gate to limbo.